In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use Fast Pencil to create a book cover using your own photo or illustration with a colored background. First, go to your project dashboard and click on the Publishing Setup tab. From there, you'll need to jump down to Formats, click through until you get to the book cover page. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to put a picture on your cover with a colored background or border. And so you have this button checked to enable a quarter inch border around front and back cover. Cover font, you have choices. Um, you'll have to experiment to see which one you like the best, but I'm going to, for this demonstration, we'll have Arial. And then upload new front cover image. So in this panel, before you go to your image, you want to jot down uh, these dimensions so that you'll know what uh, image dimensions to crop your book cover image. Now go to the file that you want to put on your cover. Okay, so now I've got the image open that I want to use for my book cover. Keep in mind that when you're selecting an image for the cover, you want to make sure that since the text will be going over the image, you want to make sure that your picture doesn't have too much detail or um, a lot going on. You don't want too busy of a photo. But So this one should work fine. Now to get the crop to the right size, in Photoshop, I go to my crop tool and actually enter those dimensions that are recommended for my book size, which is 13 and 1350 pixels wide by 2250 pixels tall. I'll select 300 ppi for book cover images. then you draw the box where you want your image to be cropped. Another important thing to keep in mind here is that the title of the book is going to go roughly a quarter of the way from the top. The author's name will be roughly a quarter from the bottom, so this image will work well so it's fairly clear in those areas. If I hit crop, there's my image, and I'm going to save it someplace where I'm going to remember. Cropped image. JPEG is fine, and leave it as RGB is also correct. Another thing to look at before closing this image is that I want to consider the color of the text. This image is fairly bright. So we want a nice dark color to go over it that, so it'll contrast well. If you have a dark image, the safest color to use is white. So we go back to our dashboard and book cover page. Go down to upload new front cover image. Choose file. Select the image that we just cropped. Once that's selected, you can go through the rest of the options. Now this is going to be the background color and the border color. I'm going to select a green and then for the front cover text, I'm going to select black, which will contrast well with that bright image. Going down, back cover. I'm going to say no back cover image. But for the back cover color, I'm going to select the same color that I did for the front. Put description on back cover, have that selected. And for that dark green, again, we want a color that will contrast well. So I'll have white text for the back cover. Spine, again, it's best to always choose the same color as the front border 
and back cover so that it has a nice continuous color all around your book cover. When you're done with that, you can hit save. That will upload the image. And update your page. There you can see that the image is there. It looks good. Double check the other options. So now that that's ready, I'm going to hit next to create a preview. Book cover spread, depending on your browser, you can either view it in the browser itself or download and save the file. And there it is.